Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and I'm proud to be representing one of the nicest 1973 H2750s in existence. This is an original, 100% original H2750, original paint, original chrome. It's a two-owner bike with only 7,600 miles. It runs perfect, and the uh, has a brand new set of Tumi style three into three triple chrome plated pipes that are absolutely gorgeous and make a sound that is nothing short of music to my ears and uh, definitely a head turner the purple haze purple 73 original paint is in absolutely gorgeous condition it's a museum quality h2 extremely rare color extremely rare motorcycle in fact i haven't even seen one of these listed for sale anytime in the last six months on uh, on ebay if you check the completed listings there's nothing to compare it to because there are none out there and any ones that did so were you know parts bikes or parts or, or, or just junkers and most of these got destroyed because of what they are they're extremely fast and they're vintage bikes so you combine this triple cylinder three 250 two-stroke engines basically made it together and it's a recipe for uh you know these bikes getting crashed and a lot of them did because they were so fast, and the tires of that day, and the suspension just wasn't up to part of the, what the motor was capable of. So um, this bike has never been dropped. It's 100% original right down to the grips, the levers, the, the uh, clutch and brake levers. Everything on the bike is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it runs like brand new and uh, looks like brand new and definitely a rock-solid investment. The two-strokes are extremely rare. Um, it's a two-owner bike. I have the title in hand. It's a New Jersey title, so if it needs to be exported out of the country, it's going to be easy to get wherever you want. Or if you're registering it in the States, it, you won't have any issues there. Um, truly an extremely rare thing to see, find these days. Uh, I've been in Daytona 25 last 25 years for the largest motorcycle rally in the world, and you just don't see these anymore. These twos have gotten extremely rare. I think a lot, most of them have been exported out of the country or they're squirreled away in private collections. This bike here was uh, in uh, the Morissette collection, a local uh, wealthy collector uh, of vintage motorcycles. Decided he was getting up there in years and sold us his, uh, his entire collection. Um, we cherry picked, uh, I think 15 out of the 30 uh, or so bikes that we wanted to buy. We ended up negotiating and, and buying and we wanted to keep these for the museum, but um, unfortunately we need to sell this to raise funds to finish the museum construction on the big building and uh, the bike's gonna go. If you look at the chrome on the bike, uh, the front fender is spotless, the tank is gorgeous, the um, engine, uh, all the aluminum is in beautiful condition. Um, it looks like a new bike, it's like a time capsule from 1973. So uh, truly uh, world-class H2 750. Um, we've had H1 500s come through here, we've had the, uh, the, th the 350s come through and 400s, but you just don't see the three-cylinder 750s. They're just not available. Original shocks are in beautiful condition. The turn signals are original. All of the uh, factory reflectors are intact. The um, chrome on the wheels in beautiful condition. Paint on the frame is excellent and original. The foot pegs, the brake lever, uh, bottom of the engines as clean as the top. On the pipes are just a work of art. Triple chrome plated. And goodness gracious, the sound that comes out of these things is just nothing short of... Uh, melody to my ears the original hub is beautiful shape the spokes the forks are perfect condition fork seals are perfect uh, they does not leak oil uh, the aluminum on the forks is in excellent condition tires are like new um, headlights perfect headlight in the cell there's no damage no, no uh, degradation in quality of any of the components the um, reflectors are beautiful the uh, original reflectors are on the side of the bike as they should be um, a lot of these bikes were highly modified, so to find one that's 100% stock like this is just absolutely um, a real find, really super rare. If you want to buy this bike and leave it on display in the museum, absolutely, you're more than welcome to. We'd love to keep it here. If you want to leave it here for a while or, or uh, pick it up immediately, it's entirely up to you. The bike um, has just received a full uh, recommissioning. Uh, it came out of a private collection where it had actually uh, been used last year in the fall that the previous owner had taken it for a ride and um, when we got the bike in we wanted to make sure it was 100 percent perfect so we just put 1700 dollars of services into the bike it's got a brand new 1300 set of headers on it so like three thousand dollars we just dropped on the bike and in, in the recent um certainly we we did uh 
the services we did, I can, I can uh, uh, vouch for here. The first thing we did is we removed the spark plugs and checked the sub cylinder compression, 150 PSI, all three cylinders, which is perfect. Uh, we gapped the plugs, which were new, and checked the spark, which was perfect, and reinstalled the plugs. We inspected the fuel system. Uh, we actually took the gas tank, removed the gas tank from the motorcycle, drained it, and uh, we use a, the inside of the tank had, you know, it's a 72, so it's, uh, what does that make it, uh, or, excuse me, it's a 73, so that makes the bike 40, 44 years old. The inside of the tank had a l little tiny bit of um, uh, discoloration, and uh, it needed to be cleaned, so we use a product called Metal Rescue. The tank was, uh, it's just a, a cleaning agent uh, for metal, so we drain the tank, clean it, clean it out. Then we used a bicarbonate sodium blast uh, technique on the inside of the tank. So the inside of the tank is like brand new and original. Never, uh, I hate that uh, white stuff that they dump inside a tank, so it's a, uh, the milk coat or whatever they call it. Uh, we don't use that here. We clean the metal, and it, this inside of the tank is like brand new. Uh, we also put a brand new fuel cap gasket on it, so that's perfect. And the get, cap works beautifully. We took the uh, factory original petcock apart, disassembled it, cleaned it, uh, and at, and uh, um, went right through the pickcock, put new gaskets on, and reinstalled it. Put fresh fuel on in, in the bike with stable, um, and uh, that completely cleaned out the, the tank, and the fuel lines are like new on the bike that, that didn't need anything there. We took the carburetors off, um, replaced the float bolt gaskets, completely cleaned the carbs in our, in our uh, hydrosonic carb cleaning tank, ultrasonic carb cleaning tank, pardon me, uh, replaced the float bolt gaskets, synchronized the carbs and the cables, adjusted the oil pump cable, adjusted the, the choke plunger sink and free play. Uh, the, the gentleman who worked on this bike, Mark Olson, he's 57 years old. He's a multiple AMA uh, Antique Automobile Club of America. Uh, his bikes are in the museums there, um, multiple museum and multiple concourse championship winning bikes. He's, he's crafted uh, all vintage Japanese bikes. That's his specialty, and he's the one who turned the wrenches on this bike, the only person in the Northeast I'd let touch a bike of this quality. And it was done to perfection. And I'm sure watching the video of the bike running, you can see it runs absolutely perfectly. Um, the air filter, air box is cleaned out. The original air box, original air intake is all 100% stock. It has a brand new K&N air filter in it. Uh, the gear case oil was drained, new gear case oil. The, um, the drivetrain, it had the original factory drivetrain on it. So we, we put a brand new chain on it. The sprockets were still perfect, but the chain... You know, with 6,000 miles, uh, was not perfect. Uh, you know, had, had a little bit of wear on it. So we put a brand new drive chain on it, adjusted the slack, adjusted the rear brake pedal at free play, set the tire pressures. Um, also, uh, it has the underneath the seat. Um, I don't know if they showed in the video, but underneath the seat, it has the original spark plug holder case. There's a spark plug holder case that holds three plugs. That's installed underneath the seat. Uh, we also, um, the rear brake light switch uh, was adjusted and actually replaced and adjusted because the rear brake light, brake light wasn't working perfectly, so we, we uh, redid that. We flushed and filled the um, front brake fluid and uh, checked all the electrical connections and then fired it up, warmed up the engine, set the air screws and the idle screw, checked the charging system output, and, and confirmed the proper operation of the clutch transmission brakes. Everything's 100%. Uh, again, this was um, gone through by an AMA championship concourse restoration winning technician here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Uh, the bike's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the uh, paint is 100% original. Uh, the left side car has a uh, side cover has a couple of matchstick size, just uh, uh, or just a tip of a matchstick, like pin size of uh, you know, like of a tick almost chips in them, tiny little chips. Uh, there's a little bit of patina on the paint, but from five feet it looks brand new. But if you take a microscope up to it, you'll see it. It is the original paint, and uh, there is a, sl a slight patina on it. And that's what you'd expect. That's what you want. Th these bikes are worth a lot more with the original paint being a classic like they are. So uh, if you have any questions about the bike, give me a call, 860-454-7024. This is Ken Kaplan, owner of the New England Motorcycle Museum. I'd be happy to tell you anything you want to know about the bike. If you want to come look at it, hear it run, you're more than welcome to. If you want to ride it, pay for it. Then you can ride it. <laughs> uh, just not a bike I'd want anybody test riding. Uh, so there'll be nobody riding this bike. But uh, it is everything we say it is. It's absolutely spectacular. We'd be happy to demo it for you with one of our licensed, uh, insured drivers that work for us here, so riders. So I uh, hope it goes to a good home. Um, hope it stays in the States. But if it goes overseas, uh, I'm sure it'll be taken care of 
uh, as well it has been preserved for 44 years 44 years here extremely rare bike the purple haze h2 god bless america good luck bidding have an awesome summer and buy this bike take care